Hi, my name is Dries, and today I'll help you unlock the power of AI. Simply put, AI or artificial intelligence are computers with a brain. AI is the ability of a machine to display human-like capabilities such as reasoning, learning, planning and creativity. From the development of self-driving cars to smart assistants like Siri and Alexa, AI is a growing part of our everyday life. Recently, a new kind of AI has become a hot topic among creatives. I'm talking about artificial illustrators. Tools like DALI 2, Imogen and Midjourney allow you to type in a prompt, any prompt, and then they will interpret what you've written and turn it into an image. A unique artificially generated image. The results are incredible and they're only improving. AI image generators are quickly proving to be more than a temporary fad. We've seen a bunch of cool use cases already and at StoryMe we've been experimenting with them to see how they can help us create better videos, faster and smarter. So, how can AI tools help us in video creation? We'll show you in a second. But first, it's important to know that each tool does things a bit differently. You can easily see the difference when you do a side-by-side -side comparison of the same prompt. While DALI 2 gives you a neat extra feature called in-painting, letting you select and edit an area of your generated image, we personally prefer Midjourney. The AI is still in beta, but it has already amassed a massive fan base. And it's been featured in Last Week Tonight, where host John Oliver marries a cabbage. What's cool about it is that you can choose the style of your image. For example, this is what happens when you type in a flock of colorful curtains painted by René Magritte. Now, despite the amount of fun it is to experiment, back to our original question. Are these AI tools useful for video creation? At the moment, the generated images aren't vector illustrations with layers you can animate. But things are moving quickly. At StoryMe, for the time being, we use them mainly as a source of inspiration. A single visual can give the art director the spark they need to come up with a concept. But it's also useful the other way around. When we have a big idea that we want to pitch to our client, visual aids can really make a difference. And if you can visualize your concept in less than a minute using an AI tool, that saves you quite a bit of time. A third use is actually in the creative production process itself. We often create a mood board that showcases the style we want to use for a project. Here, Midjourney also shows great potential. And there are other ways we've been experimenting with AI. Next to image creation, there are also artificial voices and even script generation. Now, for scripting, the generated texts still feel quite generic. But they can serve as a great starting point by relieving our scriptwriters from the dreaded blank page. The artificial voices, however, are further in their development and we've been using them already as dummy voiceovers. For certain projects, we've actually chosen to go for an AI voice specifically. Can you notice the difference between an AI voice and a real one? Education is our fundamental purpose and we are committed to invest in it internally and globally. Education has the power to change the world by giving the opportunity to explore and express our true human potential. So, should we creative fear being replaced by AI? That's a question for our creative director, Ton. No, AI isn't going to replace the human craft just yet. I would even dare to say never because AI is a tool. And just like any other tool, you need people that know how to use it. And in particular, how to use it creatively and responsible at the same time. In my opinion, AI will always require human input, selection, curation and expertise to operate at its full potential in a way that's ethical and safe. It's a kind of new creative era where many currently accepted things will be challenged and will need to be redefined. I'm looking forward to seeing how the evolution of generative art tools and machine learning will complement and amplify human creative potential. Say, you're working on a script for a short film, or perhaps you're still only in the concept stage. Why wouldn't you use AI to visualize some of your characters and scenes? You could then use that extra time to experiment and improve your creation. AI thus can save time to create even better art and productions. I do think, though, that AI is going to disrupt the industry. And it's those who adopt it early that will have an advantage over the rest. So, when in doubt, 
try it out. AI is already proving useful as a time saver and as a source of inspiration. Whether it's image creation, script generation or artificial voiceovers, who knows what the future might bring. But for now, have fun with it.